Hello, Internet Land. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are having a great day. My days, it's okay. Glenna is still in South Carolina, so I'm still living the bachelor life with Jimmy. I'm bored. So, what's going on with you? I'm just curious. Just tell me. All right, so I just had a few thoughts today. Um, I've already done this about three times and I've stopped it all three times because it felt like I was going too long. So anyway, the other, you know, a couple weekends ago, everybody knows about, um, went to the, you know, Cincinnati Comic Expo and I thought it was a great, great time. Had a lot of fun, really, really cool. Um, it just so happened like after that, I was doing a lot of reading about some different people talking about how Comic Cons and stuff have changed and how it's more media driven and um, the expenses are so so much that it's really hard for independents and artists to make any kind of money at these shows and that um, you know because people aren't spending the money like they did and um, Dave Dorman's wife wrote a piece talking talk a little bit about cosplayers and how that's kind of taken away um, from some of it you know and it's just kind of a selfie thing too that um, you know everybody's more interested in being there and being seen than in necessarily going there to meet somebody and spend some money on their stuff and it really got and got me to think about a lot of stuff and, and there's a lot of things into that but I'll just relate a personal experience from this past show that I kind of had and I've been very fortunate to meet some of my people that I grew up with with Batman you know the artists and writers and stuff like that to be able to meet some of those people I met Marshall Rogers uh, many years ago um, and he was kind of aloof and kind of gruff but you know that was 20 years ago and it was a small small show so didn't really think a whole lot of it I got a chance to meet Denny O'Neill who wrote some classic Batman stuff and along with some other stuff DC he was a super super nice guy thoroughly enjoyed meeting him. He was just cool to talk to. Um, did not get a chance to meet Steve Englehart. I wanted to. Um, uh, missed him at one of the shows that I was with. Uh, but this past show, I got a chance to meet Neil Adams. And Neil Adams, if anybody that knows anything about comic book history, is kind of a very famous Batman artist and um, did some great stuff. And not just with Batman, but uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, the Hard Traveling Heroes uh, storyline, stuff like that. Um, some phenomenal kind of artwork. And when I heard that he was coming to the expo, I was super pumped because this is one of the guys that I grew up with and it was kind of cool and stuff like that. And I really wanted to get a chance to see him. And I have to be honest with you, man, when I got a chance to meet him, he was kind of. He wasn't ex very pleasant. He wasn't a jerk, okay? He wasn't that, but um, I just kind of felt like that. And it, I understand if he would have been, you know, really busy and stuff like that, I, I kind of get it, but he just seemed kind of very aloof and he was really kind of pushing some other kind of stuff, you know? I, ended up, I did get a sketch, you guys saw it. I got a sketch and I got a print and it was kind of cool getting a chance to kind of talk with it a little bit, but I was trying to share with him about some of my experience with Batman and like whenever I would do it he just was like well if you're truly a Batman fan then you need to get Batman Odyssey and you know that was for 80 bucks and I can get it on Amazon for 15 okay, I realize he's gonna sign it but still um, and, I, and I get they're there to make money they're there to kind of do stuff and I totally totally get that but at the same show Henry Winkler was there and his interaction with the fans was phenomenal he wasn't behind the thing he was up there meeting with people talking to people thanking people i mean he was pushing his stuff as well but it wasn't crazy and like he would let you talk and he would seem generally interested in what you were saying and 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 what the conversation was and he would participate in the conversation if you would say something about something he would feed off of that and actually have a little bit of a conversation with you it's still respectful of you know the lines and everything else but you know I was watching it and it was just like everybody that met him was just absolutely beaming and you know I, I just related to my own experience with meeting Neil and it was just kind of it felt a little lacking and and again, you know, maybe it was a bad day, maybe it was all kinds of kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know. But, you know, I've also been, I've met other artists like that too, whether it be, you know, media or comic book guys. And, I, and that's the thing I don't get. 
I don't get when someone's trying to engage you and and they're clearly telling you how great that you are. I mean, they're 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 clearly telling you that to not just kind of I don't know just be personable. And and I don't get not being kind of personable. And um, and like I said, maybe it was just me. Maybe it was a bad day. I don't know. I haven't heard one thing or not you know from anybody else's kind of perspective. But you know. I thought that experience was kind of interesting in some of the grumblings that I've heard about some other people about how comic book stuff has changed and at the end of the day, you know, how artists stuff has changed, you know, how you treat fans goes a long way with what they're going to do. You know, I might have ended up spending a lot more money at his table if he'd have been a little bit more engaging. Um, I don't know. And again, I, I, this is not to bash Neil. I'm just sharing an experience with you. And again, I'm trying to get the guy to death down. I've only met him once, but I can tell you that it just, I would have, I wish it could have went like it went with Denny O'Neill. And, and Denny O'Neill's experience was kind of really awesome. So, anyway, I just think, again, I think you reap what you sow, right? I think that's part of it, you know? So, if maybe if you're not doing very good at some of these shows or whatever, maybe you should take a look inward and see what you're doing. And are you, engaging your fan base or you're doing something you know i think some of these comic book creators should take a page out of what youtubers do and stuff like that when they do these meetups and do these twitter things and stuff like that I'm telling you in that kind of way that's a, a unique way to engage a fan i think in some ways i think some of the youtubers have really got it spot on with that anyway i've talked too long if you uh thanks for listening subscribe thumbs up i'll talk to everybody later bye